Hey guys, Lester, and welcome back to another Minecraft video here on the channel. Today, we are on the my home screen because I am going to be showing you guys how to install mods for Minecraft 1.19.2 and sort of any newer version of Minecraft, but me might as well talk about the most recent ones since that's what's out now. Uh, I've done a few videos like this on the past, but I haven't done one in the past like year or two, so I figured I'd make another guide on how to install mods because there are still people every day that apparently have trouble getting mods. It's a very easy process, so... If you guys are excited for this guide or if this is helpful to you all, consider smashing that like button, subscribing if you're new, and let's get right into this. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to access your .minecraft file. You might see if you've been ever asking questions in my comments, like how do I make sure I do mods correctly, etc. I've always said, well, check your .minecraft. So how you do that is I'm on also um, Windows 11. So right click your start menu, go to run, type in percent app data percent hit OK, the screen will come up right here and you will see there is a .minecraft. If you double click that, it will open and this is your .minecraft file. Um, if your .minecraft looks like this, this means you've never run mods before. If you have previously run mods on your .minecraft, you'll see extra folders here. But since I'm showing you guys how to, from scratch, do a, uh, like how to set up mods, there is currently no mods in this version. So this is what it looks like, just so you guys know. Now, I'm just going to minimize that so you don't have to see that. But let's first off install Forge. So I'm not going to be installing some fancy mod launcher. I know a lot of people like using the Technic launcher and other things, but those launchers don't always have the most recent version of mods. So what you're going to want to do is go onto Google, type in Forge, just literally Forge, hit enter. And if your search results are anything normal, uh, you'll be able to find right here uh, the Forge download right here. And it says download... For Minecraft Forge for 1.19.2. And you might be saying, but Austin, I want 1.18 or whatever. Just click this. Trust me, you'll be fine. When you get brought to the Forge page, you will see on the left side here, you can literally download Forge from all the way to Minecraft 1, all the way to 1.19. So, for the purpose of this video, we're doing 1.19.2, but this works for all the other versions. So, just go over here. You will see there is download latest and download recommended. Now, this is up to you to decide, but I always do latest because it's the most, like, patched version. So, you're going to want to click installer. And it'll bring you to this page right here. Now, you want to only focus on this top right here where it says, please wait three seconds or whatever. Ignore everything in the center. This is not real. This is, like, viruses or whatever. Uh, if you have antivirus software, it might say, oh, this website is going to cause you to get viruses or whatever. Ignore all that. Just focus on the top right where it says skip. You're going to click skip, and it will begin downloading your Forge. Now, uh, my downloads are always set to go to my desktop, but yours might be set to go somewhere else. But either way, once that is downloaded, you are going to want to exit out of here. We can keep Google open because we're going to be needing it later to get some mods. But on the desktop right here, you will see there is a Forge. I should also mention you need to have Java installed. If you don't have Java installed, none of this stuff will work on your computer because all these files are Java. But you're going to want to double click this. And it will open up this screen right here. If this screen does not open, if it gives you some error or it says cannot open file, that means you do not have Java installed on your computer. You're going to want to get that. But assuming you do, all you have to do is click OK. It's already set to install client. You don't have to click anything else. Just click OK. And it will begin installing Forge. Now, this is the thing that will allow you to use mods in your Minecraft. Uh, if you're a person that normally uses a type of launcher like Technic or something, you, this already happens on that. So that's why you don't have to worry about this always if you're used to using Using launchers but this is how i'm doing it manually for minecraft itself and i've always done it this way i've never used any custom launcher to do it because again custom launchers do not have every single mod version and i'll get into that once we download a mod because i have a very perfect example for an easy mod that everyone uses and it has a million versions but once this has installed it will say this screen right here once it pops up let me give it a second still going Still going. There we go. Successfully installed the client, blah, blah, blah. And it will say downloaded X amount of libraries. Your number might be different from me. If it says anything different, that means you're either using a different version of Forge or you've previously had Forge installed on your .minecraft. But then we click OK. And you don't have to use keep these anymore. But if you are a person that's going to constantly install Forge and stuff with multiple .minecrafts, and I'll get to that later too, uh, you might want to keep these handy. But anyway, next you're going to uh, open Minecraft. So once you open Minecraft, you will see something new on your screen. Give it a second. <laughs> um, you will see something new on your screen right here. It will automatically have the version of Forge selected. But if for whatever reason it does not have that version selected, you can go to installations. You can go to your regular Minecraft like you would edit the version. 
and this drop down menu will come down you will be able to select the forward version it's not doing that because that's the the base version but either way if you don't need to worry about that uh, as you can see, it'll always put it underneath the main version. But if you installed version of Forge for like 1.18, you're going to have to scroll down to 1.18, etc. But for this, the, you know, the purpose of this, we don't need to. We can just make sure Forge is selected and you're going to click play. And it will come up with this message. Now, this is a newer message that's in newer launchers for Minecraft. It'll basically say, uh, just so you know, you're using a modded client. We do not condone the safety. If there's any issues, don't complain to us. And you click, I understand the risk and play. Again, that is simply something that Minecraft has to say now because can you imagine, I mean, I get a ton of complaints on my YouTube channel about stuff like this. Can you imagine how many forum posts every day Minecraft, Mojang, Microsoft have to go through with kids or parents complaining saying, my son installed this mod or I installed this mod and it's not working and it's, it's the world's exploding. My point is they have to put that warning there to tell you that you're using a modded client now. It's not our fault if something goes wrong, which is true. It is not because you are purposely installing extra mods and files to the mod to Minecraft. Um, but anyway, this should open up now. And you will notice now it says at the bottom left here, two mods loaded. This does not mean that you've it's secretly installed mods that you don't know about or anything. This is just Forge. Forge naturally has two hidden mods that are installed and that's basically Forge itself. Um, you will now notice if you go to click single player, well, there's nothing going to happen. But if you go to click multiplayer, you will get this message here saying, do you agree to playing on multiplayer? Because, you know, the, that's talking about the chat system, I think, actually. Yeah, but it, it also will say something about mods, I believe. And you will also know that there is a mods tab. As you can see, there's nothing here, though, because you don't have mods installed. But now what I'm going to have to ask you to do is quit the game. Make sure your Minecraft is completely closed. Otherwise, the next step I tell you to do will not work. So to also check to make sure your mods have been installed, if you pull up your .minecraft again, you know, percent up data, percent in the start menu, roaming folder, .minecraft, you will now notice there are more files here. There's a mods folder, there's a bin folder, I think that's new, and there's a few other folders that are new. You do not have to do anything here yet, just keep this, this file open because this is how you will add mods to your .minecraft. So let's go back to Google, and let's install a mod that... Uh, you know, we, we need, we need, what's a mod that we always need? JEI, just enough items mod. So you can literally just type JEI mod or just enough items mod, hit enter, and it will always be the first link that comes up. Uh, my cookies are being weird recently, so it's giving me other tabs, but for the most part, you should always get this thing first right here. It'll say www.curseforge.com. That is the site you want to go to. And it will even have the thing here saying yours won't be highlighted in purple, but I've, I've gone to the site enough that it, it recommends it. Um, or says I've gone to it before, but yeah, it says JEI mod. This is the mod that tells you the recipes to all the mods. I've always had this in all my worlds, but you're going to click that and you will now be transported to the JEI Forge page. Ignore everything on your screen unless you want to read some info about how the mod works. You're going to want to click files right here and it will open up the files page. And this is where people get confused. So let's say you wanted like what I'm trying to get right now, 1.19.2. You will say it says game version 1.18.2 and the most recent version is 1.18.2. And people always comment saying the mod isn't updated. You lied. You clickbaited. You see this button right here? It says view all. D do you see this? This is what you click to get all the versions. Oh, look, magically a 1.19.2 version appears now. The reason why it does not appear on the base page is because it's considered an alpha version or a beta version. That's the only times you will not see them on the main page. This R means that it's pretty much a completed version and there's no issues with it. Alpha version means there's always a chance there could still be more bugs, but with a mod like this, there's rarely any issues. So you're gonna go right to here and click download file. So once you click download file, you'll be sent to a page like this. You ha you don't have to do anything. You just have to wait till the seconds end. And it will now say show at the top of the screen. For my computer, it says, do you want to keep this in my hardware device? I click keep. And again, it'll be a Java file. Make sure you have Java installed for the 10th time. Otherwise, none of this will work. So once you do that, you can close out of here. You can go to your homepage. And as you can see, I have my Java here. Or not Java, my JI mod. Now, again, if you have mod, if you have your downloads folder somewhere else or if stuff downloads to different spots, that's where you're going to want to go to get this stuff. But you want to open your .minecraft file. You see where this mods folder is? Double click it to open or you can just drag and drop. But all you got to do is drag and drop it into the folder right here. And it's in your mods folder now. You don't have to close yet. You could just keep that folder open if you want. Open your .minecraft launcher now. Launch Minecraft. And pretty much that's it. We're done. The mod will be installed. I have done everything correctly. 
I will play the thing. If for whatever version you're, for whatever reason you're installing a bunch of mods, the only time there will be an issue is right here when after I click play. Uh, if there's con conflicting mods or if you installed the wrong version of the mod, it'll come up saying there's an error or it'll just crash your game. But I have done everything correctly for how to install this mod, so it'll bring me up right here. It'll load. And now you will see at the bottom left, it'll say three mods loaded, which is true. And I can just join any world like this one. I don't even know what world this is, but I'm joining it. <laughs> and you will see right here, once it loads me in, I will have the mod installed and it will be working. Oh, look, the JI mod has been installed. Oh, this is the world I used when I was reviewing 1.19.1. That's kind of funny. But yeah, JI mod installed correctly, everything works, nothing is different, nothing is weird, and everything, you know, can function perfectly. And if for whatever reason you want to install more mods, you know, you can just close out of your Minecraft, do it again. Keep in mind that anytime you are editing the .minecraft file, if you have Minecraft open, it will not implement the changes. Make sure your Minecraft is always closed whenever you pull up this so you can edit stuff. And I'll show you once more how to get that. Go to your start menu, go to run, type in percent up data, percent, click OK. There's your .minecraft file, double click it, and you will be able to edit everything you need to in here. I always, anytime I comment saying edit the config file, here's your config file right here. For anyone who's been complaining about, well, the Pixelmon config file doesn't let me do it anymore on the main screen. Just do what I just did here. Here's your config file. You can edit the JI mod right here. Literally, you can edit every file you need to with the mods if you need to. If you want to. You don't have to. Mods folder, same thing. All the mods. If you want to, If you want to delete a mod, delete it. It doesn't matter. If you want it back, put it back in it it literally that's all you have to do it's not rocket science there's no crazy feats you have to complete the only reason this would not work is if you didn't have java installed if your computer had some weird antivirus software that didn't let you download anything or if you're a kid playing and your computer has like parental settings that doesn't let you do anything like this either way that is how you install mods to minecraft that's how you get forge everything works out like that i won't have anything really linked i'll try to have stuff linked in the description but you guys saw i just googled everything it doesn't matter but yeah that's how you install mods to minecraft and before you say well austin this doesn't work in version 1.20 in the future it does the only things that would be different is the minecraft launcher itself would look slightly different whenever you're editing and opening stuff that's the only thing that'll look different your files folder will never look different because it's the files for the game they're not going to edit that at all Either way, that's it. I got nothing else to say. I hope this was helpful to you all. If it was, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, comment down below any questions, comments, or concerns you might still have. But if I've answered in the video, I, I there's no need for me to answer again. I'm just going to tell you to watch the video. Uh, either way, this is how you install mods to Minecraft. There's no trick to it. This is how it works for everything. And for whatever reason, the mod is not available on CurseForge. If you find it somewhere else, same deal. Just download it from that whatever site you're getting it from. Put it in your mods folder. It works. Either way, that's going to do it. I hope you all have a great day. Stay safe, everyone. Goodbye.